Source available software is software released through a source code distribution model that includes arrangements where the source can be viewed, and in some cases modified, but without necessarily meeting the criteria to be called open source. The licenses associated with the offerings range from allowing code to be viewed for reference, to allowing code to be modified and redistributed for both commercial and non-commercial purposes. Topic. Distinction from free and open source software Any software is source available software as long its source code is distributed along with it, even if the user has no legal rights to use, share, modify or even compile it. It is possible for a software to be both source available software and proprietary software, usually because the publisher, developers, or another person retains copyright on the software. In contrast, the definitions of free software and open source software are much narrower. Free software and or open source software is also always source available software, but not all source available software is also free software and or open source software. This is because the official definitions of those terms require the software to have their source code available in some form. Free and open source licenses Free software licenses and open source software licenses are also source available software licenses, as they both require the source code of the software to be made available. <laughs> Proprietary licenses The following source available software licenses are proprietary licenses, because they have limitations that prevent them from being open source according to the Open Source Initiative and free to the Free Software Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Commons clause The Commons Clause, created by FOSSA, Inc., is an addendum to an open-source software license that restricts users from selling the software. Under the combined license, the software is source-available, but not open-source. On August 22, 2018, Redis Labs shifted some Redis modules from the Afero General Public License to a combination of the Apache License 2.0 and the Commons Clause. Topic. GitLab Enterprise Edition License e -license. The GitLab Enterprise Edition License is used exclusively by GitLab's commercial offering. GitLab also releases a community edition under the MIT license. GitLab Inc. openly discloses that the e license makes their Enterprise Edition product proprietary, closed source code. However, the company makes the source code of the Enterprise Edition public, as well as the repository's issue tracker, and allows users to modify the source code. The dual release of the closed source Enterprise Edition and the open source Community Edition makes GitLab an open core company. Mega Limited Code Review License In 2016, Mega Limited released the source code of their Mega clients under the Mega Limited Code Review License, which only permits usage of the code for the purposes of review and commentary. The source code was released after former director Kim.com stated that he would create a mega competitor that is completely open source and non-profit following his departure from mega limited topic <laughs> microsoft shared source initiative 
Microsoft's Shared Source Initiative, launched in May 2001, comprises five licenses, two of which are open source and three of which are restricted. The restricted licenses under this scheme are the Microsoft Limited Public License LPL, the Microsoft Limited Reciprocal License LRL, and the Microsoft Reference Source License RSL. Topic: Scilab license. Prior to version 5, Scilab described itself as the open source platform for numerical computation, but had a license that forbade commercial redistribution of modified versions. Topic: Sugarcrumb public license. In 2007 Michael Tiemann, president of OSI, had criticized companies such as Sugarcrumb for promoting their software as open source, when in fact it did not have an OSI-approved license. In Sugarcrumb's case, it was because the software is so-called badgeware, since it specified a badge. That must be displayed in the user interface. Sugarcrumb has since switched to GPL v3. Topic: <laughs> TrueCrypt license. The TrueCrypt license was used by the TrueCrypt disk encryption utility. When TrueCrypt was discontinued, the Veracrypt fork switched to the Apache license, but retained the TrueCrypt license for code inherited from TrueCrypt. The open source initiative rejects the TrueCrypt license, as, it has elements incompatible with the OSD. The Free Software Foundation criticizes the license for restricting who can execute the program, and for enforcing a trademark condition equals equals see also